Did you know that the postal service in Spain is deregulated and that the state is responsible for ensuring a universal postal service that it has entrusted to Correos? The seventh project of the spending review that we have carried out at IREF focuses on analyzing the financial compensation that Correos receives for the obligations that this service generates and that may not be profitable, such as, for example, that of a five days a week postal delivery service. Although the figure is still provisional, since the regulation has yet to be established, it is estimated that between 2011 and 2020, Correos could receive approximately 1.45 billion euros as compensation for providing this service. According to the analysis we have carried out in IREF, this financial compensation is high compared to similar countries and could be adjusted in two ways, by relaxing the obligations imposed on Correos and improving the efficiency in incoming expenditure of this postal operator. For this reason, we propose defining a new regulation that will make it possible to reduce the cost of the service and to introduce incentives for the efficiency of the operator that provides it. This includes simplifying the calculation of service provision, focusing it on the geographical distribution of the network in such a way as to compensate only those areas, such as rural areas, where the low distribution volumes do not allow adequate profitability. In addition, we also suggest supporting the transition of Correos from the conventional postal sector, which has decreasing demand, towards a greater diversification into emerging and highly competitive sectors, such as express parcels that require greater efficiency.